Mike Awesome is one of the most underappreciated talents in wrestling history. He was tailor-made for the modern day style, and between his technical wrestling prowess and decorated career in Japan, the IWC would have fallen in love with this man if he came around today. They'd be on his DMs and watching his IG stories and shit like a side chick. Mike Awesome was Gunther before Gunther and with better power bombs. Mike Awesome's career in North America was brief but impactful. He did more with a few short years of national television than most do with their entire careers. And in addition to his highlights in WWE, WCW, and ECW, Mike Awesome had a decorated career overseas. Here's 10 things I'll bet you didn't know about the late, great Mike Awesome. First is something that hardcore fans appreciate and has actually become part of Awesome's legacy because Mike Awesome is recognized as the only WCW talent to lose to a WWE talent in an ECW ring. In 2000, Mike Awesome's contract was up in ECW, and despite being a free agent, he was still the reigning ECW champion. With Paul Heyman's checks bouncing the way Dolly Parton's chest bounces, Mike Awesome left ECW for WCW while still ECW champion. This resulted in an agreement where Awesome would lose to WCW superstar Taz at an ECW event, making history. ECW remained bitter about Awesome leaving the company with their world title to the point where Joey Styles buried Awesome during a match at One Night Stand in 2005, saying, quote, it's a shame he didn't succeed in taking his own life, end quote. This aged horribly, of course, because two years later, Awesome would succeed in taking his own life, RIP. Mike Awesome is related to Hulk Hogan. Awesome is real life cousins with Michael Allen Bolea, otherwise known as Horace Hogan. Horace is the real life nephew of Hulk Hogan, thereby making Mike Awesome Hogan's cousin, nephew, step grandson, I don't know, ask a genealogist. Mike Awesome is totally not Canadian. Despite being featured as a member of Team Canada during the dying days of WCW, and even competing as part of Team Canada in 1994 while in Japan, Mike Awesome is a red-blooded American from Tampa, Florida. In fact, Mike Awesome is so Florida, he was trained by Eddie Graham, and even cut his teeth in Florida Championship Wrestling. Before he was Mike Awesome, he was known as Gladiator in Japan, and one of the territory's top stars. In fact, Gladiator is the longest reigning FMW Brass Knuckles and Independent World Champion, holding both titles at the same damn time. Awesome held the Brass Knuckles title for 489 days and the Independent Heavyweight title for 291 days. Awesome lost the double titles to Masato Tanaka, but in addition to those FMW titles, he won a tag title, a six-man title, and four FMW tournaments. FMW and ECW weren't the only places Awesome was a world champion. Mike Awesome captured the MLW World Championship in 2003, and he made history there too. But this time, it was a bad history as Mike Awesome is the shortest reigning MLW World Champion of all time, losing the title to Steve Carino after just 10 minutes. Everybody celebrates Mike Awesome's time in ECW in the late 90s, but his ECW debut came long before that. Awesome didn't just come out of nowhere in 99. He first appeared in ECW back in 1993, when it was still in NWA territory known as Eastern Championship Wrestling. There, he was known as Awesome Mike Awesome. In fact, Awesome Mike Awesome's dive to JT Smith inspired Joey Styles' Oh my God catchphrase. Bet you didn't know that. Mike Awesome joined WWE in 2001, and you probably did already know that, but Mike Awesome hated it there. Of his time in WWE, Awesome said, quote, I hated it. You had to kiss everybody's ass. You had to be on your political toes all the time. You would not believe the backstage politics. You were getting stabbed in the back constantly. I was so happy when I was told I was gone, end quote. Also, this wasn't even his first time with WWE. In 96, Mike Awesome worked a dark match against Aldo Montoya, who went on to become ECW world champion Just Incredible. Just Incredible was just outside the top five on the PWI 500 at number six the year he won the ECW strap in 2000. Mike Awesome was right behind him at number seven, placing above the likes of Jushin Thunder Liger, Chris Jericho, Kurt Angle, and Eddie Guerrero.